everybody, I have a haul video to share with you guys. Uh, we went over to a different antique store and we were able to score some pretty good items. I, this store is so huge. It's another Wildwood antique store. It's in Lakeland, Florida. Um, we went over there and it was kind of like a bummer because it's like, oh my gosh, you know, it's another museum. But towards the end, we were able to find some good things. There was a booth that was 40% off. So I got a few things in there, but let me just share with you guys what we got. I picked up this cute girl. She's really cute. A little ballerina set. There was a set of these that I wanted to grab from um, the Treasure Mart, but her head was glued on and her leg was glued back on, but they sell these in like, I think they really come in a set of three, um, but this is one of the little ballerina girls. She stamped Japan on the bottom. So there's that, she's really cute. She's pretty in pretty good shape. Then I couldn't resist the little lambs. So we have the little brown one that kind of looks like he's toasted with his gold accents there. They're really cute for spring or, you know, whatever. Whatever you want to use them for. Maybe you just collect lambs. So we got that. And then here's like a periwinkle kind of blue lamb with his gold accents. A lot of times the gold rubs off, but that's okay. So a lot of these things are going to be available in my live upcoming live sales. So if you guys are interested in any of these items, just leave me a comment down below, like what you would like to see in the live sale. And I will be sure to try and make that happen. Got this pretty rhinestone brooch here. There is a little bit of metal wear, but oh my gosh, is that ever like shiny? I love that. Then I picked up this Santa one and it's, um, oh, I gotta let a cat in. Okay, back to what I was saying. It's like articulated, it has movable pieces. So I thought that was really cool. And again, look how shiny that is. Oh, I love that one. And then I also got this brooch. Now he might've had like gemstone eyes. That's what I'm thinking, but he doesn't anymore. But I thought he was really cute. A little tiger looking guy. So I got that. And then I picked this little fish up. Now this fish has the same kind of like dimples as, oh my gosh, I can't remember the glass company, of course, because I'm on camera and that's just how it goes. Um, I don't know if it was Pilgrim glass. They usually do that little dimply thing there. See right there? Well, you can see it. But it says Cap Captain Dan's uh, York Harbor, Maine. So it's a little souvenir piece. That's a nice, pretty green little fish. So we got that. And then this guy just looked so happy. This little green piggy. So he's a little planter. It's in really good shape. So we picked that guy up. Then this might be a like a toothpick holder um maybe for a candle but usually these are this little area is a little smaller but I just loved the owl and the milk glass I like when I buy milk glass this is how this is what I mean when I when I say I like to buy something that's a little different um this is an, a perfect example other than just like a cup or a saucer or something but this is Westmoreland but I mean, no matter what he is, you could use them for toothpicks, Q-tips. You can make a little um, flower thingy, a little planter, whatever you want to use him for. Or you could just set him on a shelf, <laughs> not use him for anything. He's really a sweet little piece there. Then we picked this up. I thought this guy was so cute. It's like Donald Duck or something. <laughs> Um, let's see, he's marked Japan. I just thought he was so sweet and his color is so good. 
like all of the, cause it's all cold painted here, the red, I think all of it is. Maybe not that black. The red is especially, and he's in such good shape. So I had to get him. Oh, I have these hiding back here. These are hiding back here. I got this guy. And I'm surprised I wasn't gonna keep these because I have one of my own. Got these two art glass owl paperweights. Um, I thought they were really neat. Now this one does have a couple of chips down here because these are pretty heavy. So I can imagine if it was being sat down, um, kind of like slipping out of your hand a little, but it does have a little there. And then this guy, I love all this stuff inside, all that swirly glass. And then he's got like a leopard print going on on the back or like a tortoise shell. So I don't know where they're from. All I know is that they're really cool. They're birds, they're owls. Are owls birds? Are birds owls? I don't know. <laughs> So, I don't know, I got those and I thought they were really interesting looking. And like I said, I have one in my windowsill. So, I will let these go. <laughs> so I got that. Then I thought this was really cool. This is, it's just a little like a religious, uh oh, don't fall over. A little religious photo. It's like a little souvenir. Um, not really a photo, but you know what I mean? Like a framed little piece. And don't mind my cats, they're scratching on their <laughs> cat post. But it says, um, Pleasure Beach Park, Connecticut. Looks like it says park anyway. And you have some dried flowers in there. And then you have it on this old stand. And it's backed on that old sort of chipboardy cardboard wood. <laughs> Does that make sense? But I just loved it. I loved how that, that frame sold me. So I picked that up. So hopefully someone will. I love clear glass mixed with like um, the like silvery metals. I just think there's some things like antique and romantic about it. I don't know but we got that. <laughs> Let's see. Then this is a really cool book. It says Tennyson birthday book. And it says a book of birthday gems. And it's just like a small little hand size book. You open it, it does have a little damage right there. Um, and it has a little inscription. It was to Sarah from her cousin. It looks like Gary but it is a little book where someone would write birthdays down. So here, for example, if you had a birthday on January 1st, it would tell you like a little poem or a little saying on each day, and then she'd write their birthdays. And in some cases, well, some pages are empty, but in some cases she wrote when they died as well. Like Mabel was born in 1879. And then we have March 4th, Cynthia was born, March 4th, 1936. Some people don't have a date and some people do. Some people have a death date as well. Let's see, we have, that's it, Evelyn Richmond. Um, she was born in 1817 and she died July 16th, 1901. So I thought this was really neat. So like this person, Stanley, 1887 to 1914. So I got this book and did it have a, I don't think it had a little copyright thing to say when the book was, I don't know. Obviously after like the fifties or something because, I mean, it might be older than that, but I'm saying it was at least around then because she was writing 50s in here. Like I just saw 1956. So I thought that was a really cool book. Then I picked up one of these needle books. These are the orange and black ones that, that um, I put out for Halloween. 
Then I picked up this Audubon Guides All the Birds of Eastern and Central North America. This book is really cool and it has all kinds of pictures. Uh, I want to say it had a copyright of 54. Could be wrong. Fifty-three. Fifty-three. But it has, like, it tells you all kinds of things about the birds and then has all the pictures and stuff. So, I mean, if it's someone that you like to do kind of artwork with them or you can scan them in the computer and use them, there's owls. That guy looks mad. <laughs> so, I thought that book was really cool. And then we had this one. This one kind of tricked me. So I saw it and it was like housekeeping in old Virginia. And then I had opened it real quick and I totally missed this page. But I saw this page, 1879. I'm like, wow, that looks amazing for being 1879. Um, well, it's a cookbook. Well, wait, hold on. It has Um, contributions from 250 of Virginia's noted housewives distinguished for their skill in the culinary arts and the other branches of domestic economy. So it talks about housekeeping, cooking. It gives you like um, how to cure bacon um, to how to clean certain things. So all kinds of stuff. However, this is not from 1879. It is a reprint because the book was still popular. It is a reprint from 1965. So I totally missed that. But it was still popular. So that's why they did a reprint of the book. So I got that. Then I got this Lammy Lamb. Now, I don't typically buy these, but I loved that green color and kind of how it was painted. So we picked up the lamb planter. Very cute. And then I want to say this is imperial glass. If I remember right, does the tag say? No, it just says owl. Pretty sure it's, these are made by imperial. In imperial. Can I say that wrong or what? Um, but they're usually, when I see them, missing their eyeballs. And I say when I see them. I don't see them that often. If I do see them, it's usually in a uh, antique store. Oh, yeah, Imperial Glass. That's their mark. But this is stunning. This slag glass in this, like, turquoise color. It kind of, like, through my phone, looks pretty blue. But it's, like, a greeny color. Like that's really blue right there, but this is like a turquoise, like ocean water. But I thought he was fabulous and I loved his colors. So we got that. Then this booth in particular cut up a quilt and saved it. I guess the quilt was in really bad shape and she framed different bits of the quilt. So I picked this one, Easter 1875. Now I did have a another, um, what was it called? Oh gosh, it just sold. See, you guys know, I know you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I just sold it, but it was sent to the wrong address. So I'm gonna have to, I don't I don't know. There, the post office, whenever something is returned to sender, it doesn't come back to you. Like if you sent it priority, they don't ship it back to you priority. So it is not of importance because now they're not getting paid for the shipping. So it doesn't come back to you very quickly. Um, oh, it was a sampler. It was a sampler and it was so cool and it sold in a live sale, but it was, I mailed it to the wrong address. So, um, unfortunately the person probably kept it. So, but my point with telling you that story is I never find anything like this and I happen to find two in a month. So even though this isn't a sampler, but you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm just kind of sad that that, it's not like I can replace it for her, you know? <laughs> It's not like, oh, let me go look for another owl figurine. It's not the same. <sighs> so I got to figure out, whoa, cats. Don't mind my cats. All right, so I got this deer planter. It does have one small little chip right here, but oh my gosh, they're driving me crazy. I thought it was fabulous. 
It's so cool. And the colors are great and it has two spots you can put your flowers. So we got that. Then I got this beautiful signed piece. It's, I think it's John Rickert. Rick Hunter signed glass. Rick Hunter, John Rick, who am I thinking of? Isn't that an actor? That's, but that, that's an actor, ain't it? <laughs> Anyways, it was a signed piece of art glass. Don't mind me, I'm tired. Um, but I picked this up as well because I thought it was stunning. So, and his stuff sells pretty well on eBay. Um, there's lots of different colors. Blue is a real popular one, um, but his stuff does really well. Then we got this little poodle planter. She needs her little nose fixed there, but she's a little planter and she got her cute little bow on her tush. And I want to say, what did that say? Can you guys tell what that said? I see made in Japan, but is it Norcrest? I don't know. But other than her little nose, she's in really good shape. So got the poodle. Ouch. Then let's see, I showed you those. Okay, so I have four more things to share with you. We picked up these, oh my gosh, the little birthday angels or the month angels. We got May and May is holding a bouquet of flowers. And then we got October. Love October. I really want the one where she's holding the pumpkin. She's like this style, but she's got a pumpkin. And I wanna say, no, that's July that's wearing a hat. But, oh my gosh, I love these. So we got two of those. Then Aaron spotted this beautiful piece. I think, gosh, this reminds me of Fenton. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hmm, I might be wrong, but it reminds me, it's so clear and it just looks like the Fenton ambery stuff. But anyways, we picked that up. I thought that was beautiful. And then my favorite piece of all, we got the glass like head display. Whenever I see these, which isn't very often, I always want one. Ugh. So we picked this beautiful piece up. It's so cool. They ha they come in like a, a, a much lighter blue, kind of like a mason jar and then um, clear. Those are two popular colors if you tend to see them. But then if you can find like purple, psh, that one sells really well. And then this would probably be second in line. But anyways, guys, that is everything we got from the antique store. So I just wanted to share that with you today. And I hope you guys can pop into the sales. Um, every Sunday, we host live sales here on the channel, Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern. And that's where you will see a lot of the things from our um, our haul videos or our thrift with me videos. So I hope you guys pop back to check on those items. Also, don't forget to go follow us over on Instagram because we would love to like see you guys and talk to you guys over there. So if you could make sure you hit that thumbs up button before you leave and let me know what was your favorite item guys. Let me know. Um, would you have left any of this behind? I mean, I'm really curious. All right guys. Thanks so, so much. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.